Inside this box, I would say I have a surprise for you, but Jackson Audio prints the pedal on the box. So, uh, there is not gonna be a uh, super magical reveal. Okay, the pedal's right here, all right? Okay, it's here. We're talking about the Optimist. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Tuesday Blues Day. My name is Buddy Blues. We're looking at this today. I've been waiting for this. So Jackson Audio teamed up with Corey Wong. Corey Wong from Wolfpack. If you don't know Corey Wong, stop this video. Uh, call the police and tell them that you've committed a crime. Jail yourself for about 10 years. And then when you're out and a rehabbed person, look up. Corey Wong, incredible guitar player. They teamed up with Corey Wong to come up with his signature overdrive. Jackson Audio has done this before with Matteo Sassato, blah, blah, blah. And they always, always do it so properly. Let me explain. If you remember just like the fuzz, I'll link it up here that we reviewed from Jackson Audio. It's never just the surface. It's never just, it's not a fuzz. It's like nine fuzzes in one plus an octave fuzz. It's always like this with these pedals and this is no different. Right off the bat, I wanna get this out of the way. I've seen many reviews of this, including Jackson Audio's own review, their own Brad Jackson from Jackson Audio. Okay, Jackson, Jackson, get it, okay? Hmm. Talking about how this is very clony. It is, but it is not just that, it's critical. I feel like other demos as well, mainly focused on how this is very clony, or it, it's what I want to say. What I'm trying to say is it's not a clon clone, just like their Golden Boy is not a Blues Breaker clone. It's based on that circuit, but it's so much more. How much more, buddy? Well, let me explain. As with most of their pedals, like I said earlier, you've got a million things in here. So, OD1 is overdrive one, top, volume, tone, gain. This is the circuit that I feel like is very clony. It's based on that clon. It's, it, it's got that mid hump. It's got that big sound. You can get some epic John Mayer tones out of it. OD2 is to my ears. All of this is to my ears, okay? We don't talk facts here. We talk emotions and feelings, okay? <laughs> Science has no place here. So this second channel to me sounds grittier. It has a bit more punch than um, overdrive one, it's very, it's, it's hairier. That's what I wanna say. And to my ears, it sounds like a different overdrive circuit. It may not be, it may be tweaked here and there, but to my ears, it sounds like that. So, so far we have a fact, two overdrives in one. Uh, you thought we were done, but we're not, okay? You think that would be enough for a pedal the size smaller than my hand to be two overdrives in one. Okay, but it isn't. This is not the case, okay? It's never the case with Jackson Audio, because there's a third function here, which is, I think, the most important. The EQ. Oh, how much an EQ can change the sound of an overdrive. Can't even begin to tell you how usable an EQ is on an overdrive. We're not talking about a tone knob. We're not talking about, we're talking about an active EQ like this one has. You can completely change the whole circuit or the flavor of the circuit. It's well known. I mean, a lot of people put an, an EQ after or before, stuff like that, and they engage in it, it changes the whole overdrive or fuzz or whatever it is. Up here, standard nine volt uh, input, output, and MIDI, like most of their pedals. Uh, plug it into like a Morningstar M6, 6M, MMM67XQ. I really don't know what it's called. It's that little big screen thing. It's a MIDI reader where you get to turn things on. People, I am not a man of MIDI. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be honest with you, I'm fairly new to all of this. Anyway, but you can use MIDI. So, let's hear this thing. I am extremely excited to show you this. Thank you, Jackson Audi, for sending this pedal. I'm going to be playing my blue strat that has a humbucker, humbucker, and a single coil so that we. No, it does not. It has single coil, single coil, and a humbucker. <laughs> what a stupid combination that would be. <laughs> <laughs> it has a single coil, a single coil, and a humbucker. That way you can get the feel of humbuckers with this pedal and single coil. I get asked a lot about that guitar, which is quite literally the cheapest piece of gear that I own. It is a Maiden Mexico uh, Fender Player Deluxe, or Deluxe Player. I bought it for three, a little under $300 from Guitar Center, used five, six years ago, something like that. 
It has Magneto Design Lab pickups and a pick guard from Quick Guards. All of the above are small businesses with the exception of Fender. Fender Supersonic 22, I always tell you what amp I'm using in the description. If you click the description and you see what I'm writing, you'll understand that I'm playing a Fender Supersonic 22. <laughs> Stop asking me what amp I'm playing. <laughs> Into the Oxbox, let's get to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you have now heard the Optimist. This is a one and done pedal. That's it. So I'm going to be putting this on my small travel rig thing that already has the Jackson Audio Fuzz and the Jackson Audio Bloom version 2, which is the best compressor ever made in the history of compressors. I don't care about the 1176. I don't care about your studio compressor. The Bloom version 2 is better than that compressor. It is better. It's just better. Yeah, but I have a rig that's got $7,000. Okay, if you remember what I said six seconds ago, I do not care because the Bloom is better. And I'm going to be putting that as well on it because it just it's the same size as the overdrive that I have on there. Plus I want to put that overdrive on another pedal board. And it's just so much more, it's three pedals in one. You can also activate the EQ without the usage of any of the overdrives. You just turn the EQ on by itself and you now have an EQ pedal. So thanks again to Jackson Audio, a lovely, lovely company that I enjoy doing reviews for quite a bit. They're very cool people. I want to work there. I will be their head marketing strategy person. Imagine me replying to these emails. <laughs> and in case you didn't notice, I'm wearing Mark Hopkins' new t-shirt, which you should get. I'm gonna link Mark Hopkins stuff in the bottom as well. He is a lovely person. If you remember a few weeks ago, I did an interview with him. And since then he interviewed Red Shull. So uh, the logical explanation here is if you interview me, I will make you famous. So there you go. <laughs> Why can't I be famous then? <laughs> I have been Buddy Blues. You have been the people of the blues. Thanks for watching. <laughs>